Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Last week on the 24th of February, Microsoft rolled out the latest dev channel build 22563 to insiders in the Windows 11 Insider program. And in this video, we're just going to take a quick look at some of the key highlights and changes from those release notes and just take a look at some images taken from uh, the release notes to preview build 22563, which I think um, uh, would be most relevant and also would roll out, possibly roll out uh, to the stable version in the future. Now, just to go through these quickly, apparently there's a new um, optimized tablet taskbar that Microsoft has introduced in this latest build 22563. And from uh, this image taken from the release notes, they say they've introduced a new taskbar state that's designed to make the user feel more confident and comfortable using uh, their t uh, tablet and device. And basically the taskbar will automatically transition to this optimized version when you disconnect or fold back the keyboard on your two-in-one device. Now apparently, according to the release notes, Microsoft says this feature only works on devices that can be used as tablets, so it's not going to work on your laptop or your desktop PC. And now we can see from uh, this image, there are two states. You've got collapsed and expanded. And when it's in the collapsed state, uh, the taskbar gets out of the way, as we can see, and gives you more screen space and prevents you from accidentally, you know, touching and activating the taskbar when you're holding your tablet. And then you've got the expanded state, which allows for easier touch interaction. So in the expanded state, the taskbar is optimized to be easier used with touch. So you can easily switch between the two states by swiping up um, and down on the bottom of your device. So if you uh, do use Windows 11 on a tablet or foldable device, um, that could be a new taskbar feature rolling out in the near future. Now the next change is to do with widgets and the uh, news uh, feed and interests feed in Windows 11. And basically Microsoft say with the widgets board, um, they experiment with bringing together the widgets and the news feed uh, experiences basically to uh, blend the feed containing both widgets and the news content. So this is what you saw before. And in that latest build, this is the after where it's easier for you now to discover and exchange with new widgets and news content through your feed. So this is uh, just with your news feed and this is with news feed and widgets um, uh, uh, added together in the uh, widgets, uh, uh, widgets board. And they say if you've already customized a widgets board, all your pinned widgets will be exactly where uh, they were before um, you uh, this feature rolled out. So your customizations won't be lost. And then if we just go to the third change and improvement, and this is to do with Bluetooth. Apparently, um, it's now easy to manage your Bluetooth devices directly from quick settings, as we can see in this image. Uh, including the ability to disconnect straight from the quick settings and see battery level uh, levels for supported devices like your Bluetooth mouse and your uh, your Surface Pen and so on. So those are um, this is going to be a nice handy addition that could possibly roll out if you use you know headphones and Bluetooth devices. And then the next uh, change and improvement um, is to do with uh, the um, snapped windows. And this is to do with Microsoft Edge. Now, apparently, um, they've introduced um, in this latest Dev Channel build the ability for Microsoft Edge tabs now to show up as, suggestors win as suggested windows in the Snap Assist, as we can see in this screenshot. And when a window is snapped, you will now see three of your most recent Edge tabs shown uh, by default as suggestions. So if you use Edge as your main browser and uh, the snapping windows uh, feature, this could be a nice handy addition to Microsoft Edge in Windows 11, possibly in the future. And then if you use the emoji, apparently there are a couple of new emoji that have been included. And yeah, we can just go through these quickly. Melting face, troll, coral, beans, Playground slide and the mirror ball. So if emoji is your type of thing, then with this latest build, Microsoft is testing a couple of new emoji according to the release notes. And then the final feature just to mention quickly for this video is um, 
the accessibility fly out in the logging screen that they say was introduced in the previous uh, Dev Channel build 22557 um, is now available uh, to all Windows insiders in the Dev Channel. And this is just um, on your logging screen where you have some easy um, access now, some shortcuts uh, fly out uh, to some of those accessibility features straight from your uh, logging screen in that latest dev channel build. Now it's just important to mention um, that uh, these are features have only uh, you know are being in tested in the dev channel currently. So as I've mentioned in previous videos, um, the fact that these options are available uh, in the uh, insider build of Windows 11 is not a guarantee that they will make their way to everyone further down the line to the stable version and Microsoft has made that clear regarding features in the insider program especially the dev channel but it is possible that some of these features will make their way to the stable version later this year and I will leave a, a link down below to uh, those release notes and changes for build 22563 if you are interested where you can just go check this out more in depth if you are interested. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.